girl j here and welcome back hey guys how are you so for today's video as you guys can see my hair is let's just zoom in for you guys a hot mess so for today's video it has been a while now since i took out my braids and i've been struggling or trying to keep up child I've been trying to keep up with my hair. As you can see, these flakes are from gel. And just trying to keep my hair in one and out of the way as much as possible. So now today I finally decided, okay, my hair is, it, my scalp is itching. So I'm like, all right, so it's time for another detox just to get rid of all of that ugh, out of my head. So I'm gonna be doing another bentonite clay mask for you guys today. So here on my channel, if you are new, sorry, if you're new here on my channel, I do uh, makeup videos, hair tutorials, I do hauls from Amazon, Shein, I haven't really done fashionable like that, but any little thing I get or unboxing that I purchase, I post it here on my channel for now. Down the line, I'll be doing um vlogs and challenges and a bunch of other stuff but for now i am comfortable in doing these around table with my background videos for now because these are contents that i can produce better or quickly so if you're interested in any of these um type of videos that i have mentioned don't forget to subscribe to my channel let me know that you've subscribed give me a heart a thumbs up or something below let me know that you have subscribed and welcome also thank you guys so much who have been um showing love to all of my videos i do appreciate i do see it please guys check out all of my playlists view all of them i will link in the eye so guys please check them out i have a bunch of videos i think maybe almost a hundred videos so catch up, catch up. Anyways guys, so let's get into today's video. So this is my hair, it has been, oh see I'm itching away already. It has a lot of gunk in it, I haven't washed my hair in a bit. So I have already pre-prepared my gunk. For you guys, this is Bentonite Clay Mask with white vinegar. I didn't have apple cider vinegar, so I'm hoping white vinegar is okay to use as well so I'm just gonna separate my hair in two or four and get into it okay so we're back and so far I have parted a section of my hair with the front and the back and this side is just put aside for later so I'm just gonna go quickly in as you guys can see my hair has been tangled and matted from being in one for days so I'm just gonna go right ahead in because this is super itchy oh and I have on a uh, sports bra because this may get messy and I don't want to mess up my clothes so I just put on leave on my sports bra to get the work done and already I'm making a mess So what it is that I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to make sure that I put it on the base of my hair the most because I do want to um, detoxify my scalp. That is more important than the strands of my hair and I don't have enough mixture. So I'm really just trying to make sure that I get the, the scalp of my hair first before I do anything. I've done the the roots of this section so I'm just gonna tie away the ends and I'm not worrying about the ends because I am gonna shampoo my hair after and clear all of this up like I say the scalp of my hair is more important 
because it do need to like alleviate all of that gunk and dirt that has been on my hair for a good bit now because this is I believe the third time that I've done bentonite clay mask for this year so uh, yeah I really need to get that my roots detoxified now I'm gonna do this section because I feel like it it gets in there better for me and it applies on faster for me other than the the applicator so that's why I'm going in with my hand instead and that way I can kind of massage it in like I'm doing now So this is how this side is looking and it's already getting dry. So I'm just gonna tie this away and then do this side off camera. Okay, so now I'm back and I have put it all over my hair. Now, like I say, the ends didn't really get any at all because I only had a little bit amount of bentonite clay mask left. So I didn't have enough to do the end, but the most important part is to get it on my scalp. And right now, my scalp just feels like it's getting, like it's, it has like a cool feeling. So it feels like it's just getting, like that itch is getting relieved. Maybe because I scratched my hair so much that my scalp was probably irritated. And now that the product is on it, it's actually, I don't know, maybe getting into those little scratch marks or whatever that I made but however this is the mess that came from it and you guys don't want to see my table and of course I have flakes and all of that around me so normally I would put it on my face when I do the mask as well just to be able to exfoliate my face in one go but I'm out so but this is how it looks on my hair in the front and this side is already drying as you can see like right here it's already drying on this side i just finished this one um i can't really bend for the back because my chair is so close to the wall but this is how the back is looking yeah so now i'm just going to let this dry and then i'm going to wash it out with my shampoo and conditioner and do a deep conditioning treatment in my hair for a bit and then I'm gonna wash that out and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm back. I've already washed out my hair as you can see and I've showered and gotten a bit dressed. So this is how my hair is looking again. Nothing was on the ends, so it was just mainly the the roots of my hair, my scalp, and that is it. So now it's on to styling. So what I'm thinking of doing with my hair is doing a sleek ponytail again. I've done these in the past, but 
I want to jazz it up a bit this time and make it a bit more fun or detailed. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so what it is that I'm going to be doing my hair is I'm going to be doing a sleek ponytail again. But this time, I'm going to kind of bring it all the way around, as you can see here. And I'm going to be using just my edge control, some oil, my detangling spray, and that's about it. But I didn't use this oil. I used this oil at first, but I'm going to be using this oil in just a second. So it's like a curl defined oil with coconut and Australian jojoba oil. So I'm just going to add just a little bit to it, nothing much. And I'm going to put it on the first section that I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to do the first section. I'm going to part this section in um, two sections or three, I think three. And then I'm going to start working on it. Okay, so now I'm going to be working with the first section. So I'm just going to be taking out my edge control and adding just this amount to start with. And I'm going to be using my brush and I'm going to brush that down all to and bring it in all together in the middle section of my hair. And then I'm going to be using my scrunchie to uh, hold it in place while I deal with the other sections. Okay, so now that I have the first section down, this is the next section. So I'm gonna be adding some more hair. When I get closer to the front with this side, I'll be able to show you guys better. Now this section, I'm just gonna make sure that it's still not tangled. The ends don't really matter for now. It's just to make sure that the inside section isn't, isn't tangled. First, I'm going to try to lay the hair down as best as I can and I'm going to clean, try to see if I can clean up this part to make it a lot um, sharper. can see I am trying to part the section out just a little bit neater because the comb that I have is just not great it sucks so I'm just trying to create a neat enough part so that it will kind of make the final look look way better I'm going to be going in with more edge control just to make sure that I can sleek it all the way in and bring it down towards where all the other hair are gathered for the low ponytail so I'm going in with my brush just to bring it down slick and smooth but I did also go in with my comb just so that I can um, get rid of any bumps and grooves inside the hair shaft and then I'm going in again with my brush to smooth it all in to get rid of all of those um, comb marks. I went through the rest of the process of my hairstyle. I did the same thing on either side. So I would apply the edge control and bring it down a little bit down the shaft of my hair just so when I brush it in it can all get in there together and then I just use the brush in my hand and I brush it down and glide it back and smooth it down as I go. So now I'm working with the front section of my hair and again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm adding the edge control around it and in between it just so it can I can make sure that it is being laid flat. And then I'm brushing it out and bringing it down towards where I want my ponytail to lay. For 
the design section so i parted um in between maybe like in the middle of the section i wanted to do more but the comb that i had just wasn't working with me so i decided to just do a little signature or a little accent piece in the middle center section right there so what i did was i applied a rubber band and i twisted and then attach it to the next section and then did the same thing again until i reached the end then i sleeked it into the ponytail Also, while you're doing your hair, if it does get a little bit detangled, use a bit of your water. Not too much because you don't want the end result to mess up or not dry. So, that's a little tip tip here for you guys. Now we're dealing with the front section. If you guys have reached this far in the video, thank you. Thank you so much. This style literally took me over an hour to create because of comb and everything else so hit the like button guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for always supporting and if you're not subscribed and you've reached this far in my channel hit the subscribe button turn off your post and turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and stay rocking with me i have so much more to come so as you guys can see i'm just finishing up this is the last session and i am super happy that i'm almost done with this part so i'm just brushing it in making sure it's sleek down and of course we gotta do our baby hairs so i just had just little section on the side and i just wanted to do this squiggly worm looking baby here and then of course i sleeked it out on the other side And finally, to set it all in, we're gonna be using our Got To Be Glue spray. And we're gonna put that on there just so it can last me for a day or two. I sleep bad anyway, so it's probably just for the day. But so far, it has been uh, maybe five hours currently, and it's been holding up, so. Next, I'm gonna be applying this hair that I have. I had this hair, believe it or not, for maybe a year. I had I bought it from a store that here on my island that it was on sale for five dollars. I was like, let me buy this. Maybe I'll do it for something, or maybe I'll do something with it. So I decided to use it for my ponytail because I didn't want to have the straight hair in today. I felt curly. So what I did was I used rubber bands and my scrunchies and I used it to attach it to my hair. And then I just tucked it on, tucked my hair under and then I'm using a bit of the same hair that came with the pack and I'm using that to wrap that around my hair and the hair attached. And of course I had to get my husband to step in to help me because your girl was struggling. I had to have him hold it up so I can wrap it around my hair. Your girl was tired. This is an arm workout for sure. you guys think in the comment section below thank you guys so much for sharing for showing love for commenting on my videos thank you so much i appreciate you guys let me know what else you guys want to see in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye